Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you guys library result for this break fluid. As you can see, there is some stuff there. Is it terribly bad? No. The fluid itself is 11 years old. It came from 2012. This guy right here. There is a coil. So, so the question remains unanswered and very often uh, people don't know what to do. Should you be changing your fluid, brake fluid every two years? As some say, it absorbs the water, which is, uh, to me, I, I don't fully understand. I need to do more research, but it makes no sense. How can a petroleum product absorb water? You know what I mean? I just, I, Maybe because I don't know the chemistry or the brake fluid, but I just don't understand, you know what I mean? Uh, because you can have water in anything. In motor oil, you're gonna have moisture. In fuel, you're gonna have moisture. You know what I mean? It's just, a, you know, you have evaporation, not evaporation, but you have condensation, so I can see that. But to absorb like a sponge, as everyone say, I just don't understand how it can be. How could that could be? You know what I mean? It makes no sense to me. If this was some kind of product, you know, a sponge or a rag that absorbs it, yeah, I can see that. But a petroleum-based product to absorb the water makes no sense. So let me show, share results with you. Fluid, brake fluid on this equipment has never been changed. I bought it almost two years old. Service record was serviced by the dealer. Service record showed zero, absolutely zero um, uh, indications of fluid been changed first time 11 years this year a few months ago or a month ago I changed it you know this is the sample I sent to the lab and this is the leftover so the report says it's abnormal you know I usually don't I don't go by that but to show you guys what the report is saying it's abnormal it's already past normal is it really that terrible no if you read the note it says you can still continue to use. Flag there does, does not indicate an immediate need for maintenance action. So I'm not gonna read water at minor level. Acid number is flagged. Yeah, it became, you know what I mean? With being 11 years old, it's definitely, you know, any fluid will become acidic, any. And when the fluid becomes acidic, well, what, you, what acid does? It starts corroding. It starts corroding and starts, uh, you know, corroding the rubber corroding the metal and now you you running into the issues of more co you know stuff being kind of bro broken down or kind of deteriorated due to acid which is you want to avoid so question is should you be still changing your fluid every two years there is no harm of changing fluid every two years you want to change it go ahead there is no uh nothing bad will happen except you know less money in your pocket you know would i stick to two years no five six we'll see we'll retest this you know five years later see how see the numbers will compare to the fresh fluid and and go from there you know what i mean but changing every two years i don't see a reason unless you know what i mean i am really cooking my brakes always overheating then yeah i will stick to two years people that race yeah you might want to change it you know what i mean when you get your brakes hot and glowing red you might as well change it every two years so here's the numbers the metal wear you know iron nine it's i don't know when i did on a vehicle that was the iron was much higher on that fluid on that vehicle no it wasn't it was nine years old yeah on the nine years old vehicle the iron number was higher than this so it's I don't know, you know what I mean, how they, how the number is generated, this iron. Probably due to acid, you know what I mean, scraping, rubber. You can read the rest of the numbers. I'll scroll through zinc, boron, you know, I'll show you guys. The mileage, where there is the mileage, where there is the mileage, mileage on a vehicle, mileage on a unit. No fuel dilution, no oil. Uh, there is water, 0.2%, you know. It's like you're gonna have water. Does it does the fluid absorb the water? I don't know. It makes no sense to me. But if you have something, uh, an article, uh, scientific proof that shows that brake fluid absorbs the water, well, drop it in the comment section. I'm interested to learn. 
you know, because if brake fluid can absorb the water, then it's safe to say motor oil can absorb the water. You know, transmission fluid can absorb the water. We can we can go on because it's all petroleum products. However, condensation, and now you have water in the fluid. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So should you have water? You're gonna have water. You're gonna have condensation in, in every fluid. It doesn't have to because no fluid, uh, or I shouldn't say, no equipment is 100% sealed unless it's like a compressor. Yes, compressor is 100% sealed. Vacuum filled with the gas. There is, you know what I mean? You're not gonna have water there. Viscosity is low, probably should be higher. Acid, they, they fly you, you know what I mean? You can see nitration and so on. So that's, you know what I mean? Something you should not be panicking. You should not be worrying too much. You know what I mean? If you're in change your fluid uh, every two years, you're in good shape. Should you be pushing 10 years? Even if you don't drive, you drive very little, you know what I mean, let's say. Yeah, you might want to change it, you know what I mean? If you want to do 10 years, do 10 years, but it's it's better to change it probably around five, six, maybe seven, maybe 8,000, you know what I mean? But if you believe in 2,000 miles in the rules, there is nothing wrong with that. So, so I want to thank you for watching and um, let me know how often you change your fluid in the comment section.